ready? Mm-hmm. You, you, you are now listening to Lower Road Radio. Hey, welcome one and all to the number one podcast, winter, spring, and fall. Talking sports for the thrill of it all. Hey, talking life, but we're killing it all. Jason and Dan with the master plan. These are dangerous men with the mic in the hand. Huh? Four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Lower Road Radio. Dad like thug life, bright lights in sight. All right, what? Dad like thug life, bright lights in sight. All right, yeah. Dad like thug life, bright lights in sight. All right, what? four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Lower Road Radio. Let's get it. What? Uh-oh. At Tanagra, when the walls fell, this is Dan Owings coming at you another time for Lower Road Radio with my co-host, as always, Jason, Batman, and then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles get to fight. Who wins? Batman or Fat Man? Batman. We'll talk oh. about Fat Man later. Okay. Uh, Batman versus the Turtles? Yes. All four Turtles? Yeah. What's the setting? Mm, Gotham. Gotham. Yeah. I think I ultimately, mean, there is a sewer system in Gotham, if you wondered. Yeah. I imagine there would be. Um, I think ultimately, I think uh, Batman would win. Really? I do. Wow. Against all four turtles. Well, I mean, yeah. He, I mean, he's got the Batmobile. He's got the Batcopter. Kay. He's got the Batplane. What do, throw, what do you throw a splinter in the mix? Does that change anything for you? That might tip the scales. <laughs> now, if you throw Robin in the mix... Well... I don't know. I feel like Robin is kind of hurts. Yeah, holds him like, back a little I, bit. When I did, uh, when I was like a did painting and stuff, and when I had to have a new guy, I got less work done than when mm. I was by myself. Yeah, because it was like I'm messing with this new guy. So I got to fix the Batman? his stuff. I was Batman. <laughs> I mean, previously I was Robin. Isn't that how it works? Robin becomes Batman eventually, or he becomes Darkwing or something like that. I no, don't that's know. Darkwing Duck. Yeah, that's that's a whole different thing. Yeah, I don't know what the. I don't know how that plays out. I don't know how it plays out either. But what I know is that if it's a fight, and if it's in between Batman and all four turtles, I'm gonna take turtles. I mean, they're both at a disadvantage because nobody wants to kill anybody, right? But like, if you had lethal, none of them use lethal force. Hmm. Well, I mean, sword a sword is pretty lethal, you know. Yeah, but they like slash them and then they just they stop. Yeah. You don't see the turtles killing people. I think the thing that the turtles don't have going for them is the they don't have full bar, body armor. I mean, they... Oh, they got a shell. Yeah. Built are they, in are they heroes in a half shell? Yeah, but it's still a half shell. You is know? it not a full shell? Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. So, yeah. I mean, the song says it. So... Batman's got armor. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's their disadvantage. He's got, you know, I mean, they're going to hit it and the armor's yeah. going to stop he's everything. He's like bulletproof. I mean, they got to get right, but he's like available right here. I mean... The sigh, right in the face, you know, and, the, and you know, and then he's dead. He's a human. He's not. Yeah. He bleeds. It's the turtles bleed too. Yeah, but there's four of them. You know. Is it a surprise attack, or is it like you're here and I'm here no, and you um, meet? It's it's uh, Batman is hunting down the turtles. Oh yeah, Batman wins. Oh yeah. really? If it was flipped, maybe the turtles. If the turtles caught Batman off guard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you feel like Batman kills Michelangelo before they even know what happened. Well, you take the head of the snake. You cut off Leonardo. You take Leonardo first. Uh, uh, yeah. You were always a Donatello guy, though. I think Leonardo was... I like Leonardo. I was a Mikey guy. Yeah, that's obvious. <laughs> I think later in life, I've become more like Raph. Really? Yeah. Just angry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, they took my side, <laughs> but I can get it back. I can get, get it back. back. Yeah. Um... How are you doing this week? Good. Yeah? I've, I've done lots of audiobooks. Really? Yeah. Any good ones lately? The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, read oh. by Nick Offerman. <laughs> read by Nick Offerman. Yeah. Have you seen the Nick Offerman uh, Christmas um, uh, fireplace video? I don't know. It's him, 10 hours. I don't think it's a loop. Yeah. We watched it for quite a while. <laughs> it's him <laughs> drinking scotch or whiskey yeah. in front of his fireplace, just sitting there. For like 10 hours. For 10 hours straight yeah. while the fire is crackling in the background. That's pretty great. It's You're supposed to have it on in the yeah. background while you're doing Christmas and yeah. stuff, you know? So That's pretty great. I like Nick Offerman. Yeah, I think he's great. He's a good one to read that. Yeah, he's... Um, uh, it was very, very good. I've got... It's like an eight-hour listen. 
Mm-hmm. And um, I'm seven hour, seven and a half hours into it. What's your I favorite audio book so far? Um, in your... Yeah, I mean, I've got maybe 20 of them in. Yeah. 25. What's great is if you can find a series that yeah. you're super into, and then you just can rip through the whole series. There's a couple series that I'm like... Um, I haven't started yet. Like, have you heard of Ben Bulva? <laughs> Yeah. Uh huh. Have you listened to any of this? Yeah. Stuff? It, it didn't strike my fancy, yeah. as they say. I mean, it wasn't like awful. When I read the but summary, it wasn't like, oh, I want it. I know. When yeah. I read the summary, I'm like, okay, this is something maybe. Why don't you check out Terry Goodkind? Terry, Goodkind. yeah, fantasy kind of a novel thing. Okay. Uh, there's some magic and sorcery and whatnot. Yeah. It's, it's it's a whole world. Yeah. And he's I think got eight of the books or nine of the books. I think it might be your kind of thing. So okay. his name's Terry Goodkind. There's also another Terry. Is Terry Brooks, and okay. uh, he's got the Shin- he did the Shannara. Oh books. yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I tried to watch the MTV series. I watched <laughs> I don't know maybe three minutes. Of, it was awful. Well, I mean, Stella and I watched the whole thing. Okay, you, all what, right, three seasons, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's not great, but the books well, are mean, pretty good. He's a pretty good author. Yeah. So I would I would recommend the Terry Brooks books as well. Okay, the Shannara books. I went to go look at Dune. Right. It's like a 21-hour listen. It's, it is. It's, yeah. It's so a commitment. When I read the reviews, mm-hmm. there are people not happy with the reading because they said it was, they thought it was unabridged, mm-hmm. which, if I understand right, is one voice reading the whole thing versus acting with... Like dramatized. Yeah. Which is weird because now that I've got a couple into it... Mm-hmm. Um, like if, so like if Nick Offerman said, and then Tom, mm-hmm. or and then Huck Finn said, right, versus Huck Finn just talking. Yes, that's the difference. Right. So I don't know what I like better. I mean, if it's done right, the, I like different voices. The tune that I've listened to, the uh, narrator's name is Simon Vance, and he has a, it's a very proper British accent. Yeah. You're listening to Hovel Altio's presentation <laughs> of Dune, yeah. narrated by Simon Vance. That's pretty good, and he's very, uh, very pleasant to listen to. I so like his it. a lot. Okay, yeah. So if you can find the Simon Vance I would version, like because I'm looking forward to the movie. I'm really looking forward to the movie. Yeah, that doesn't usually end well for me. I mean, I, yeah. I can't remember the last movie that I really looked forward to that actually paid off. Yeah, I mean, honestly. It's best if I don't look forward to movies. I want it to be good. I, I, Jason, okay, I have yeah. like I want it to be good too, and I like the um, I like the casting. I mean, I, yeah. I read the cast. It looks yes. great. Yes. Um the 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 preview that I watched looks super cool. So it's a, I mean, right now everything looks like it's headed in the right direction. And I think the other thing that I have going for me with Dune is I enjoyed the book, but I'm not like a purist. You know, right, it's right. not like the way I am with like Lord of the Rings or Narnia or Star Wars, where I, I'm a little stuck up about it. Dune, they could go all sorts of ways. It really wouldn't bother me. There right. will definitely be people because there are people that are that Dune is the standard for all science fiction for them. Right, and they will be furious no matter what happens. Because no matter what, it won't happens. be they're going to upset people, the way they yeah. want it to be. So, so have you read or listened to our, um, Atlas Shrugged? Uh, no, it just seems like a lot. It's like 62 hours. Yeah, sh- she's, you know, Ayn Rand's kind of, I don't know. I, 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 I know that it's like the conservative thing that everybody ought to listen to or whatever. She's an atheist, pretty avowed atheist. So? A fool has said in his heart that there is no God. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. And uh, I don't know how much I want to invest of my time into, If it's a good like, story, it's a good story. Or, if it's a good story, it's a good story. I don't think it's probably as popular as it is because of the storytelling. I think it's as popular as it is because of the um, moral of the story. Yeah. I, I don't get the sense that it's amazing storytelling. I get the I get the sense that she's making a point, right. and people like the point that she's making. Well, I've got... Well, I finished um, Silent Planet. Okay. It got better at the end. Okay, there was a chunk. Mm-hmm. It there was a, there was a lull. There was a, ch- a I lull, get it. I and get I was it. in the middle of the lull. I get it. I got over that. It, it's a good ending. It did. It ended well. And 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 get prepared because the next one very different. Okay, it'll start off. You're like, okay, I see where they're going, and then all of a sudden, it's Perlandia, Perlandra, yeah, and the rest of it will be crazy, and then 
I mean, hold on to your seat for that hideous strength. <laughs> it is nuts. So, no, uh, I'm enjoying that hideous strength. Is kind of dark too. Okay. There's some real darkness in it. I'm enjoying the audiobooks. I still read real books. The audiobook but. of um, I've read and listened to the uh, Space Trilogy, but the audiobook that I listen to is like a, a tape recording from Britain from like. 30 years ago or something. Yeah. And uh, there's like a 20 second instruction at the beginning of everything of what oh. to do with the tape yeah. and give it to the postman, mark this. And if it doesn't work, smack it smartly, he says. <laughs> smack it smartly and put it back in. Yeah. I, I enjoy that thoroughly. Yeah. Um, but um, anyway, uh, Space Trilogy, highly underrated. Highly underrated. Paralandra, maybe the best of the three. Maybe. I don't okay. know. You know, I've noticed from the Brits through uh, mostly TV, mm -hmm. they use the word right a lot. Hmm. Have you noticed that? I don't know that I have. Okay, start paying attention okay. and see if. Right, right. Okay, here we go. Right. Right. You know? Right. Okay. And I feel like it's um, um, it's messing me up. Oh, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because now it's creeping into, because I've never used it in that mm -hmm phraseology sure i've never that's never come to mm -hmm. and now it's coming out now it's coming out and the other phrase this is more american now uh it's really bothering me my kids say it all the time is let's go mm. like something good happens let's go is and, that british no i oh. said american oh okay you know yeah but that's what i'm saying these there's a couple phrases that are popping mm. into the culture the lexicon yeah of i mean culture. we are a society and a culture show is that what we are? I don't know. I thought we were entertainment. We've changed. We're it society and culture. We're not sports. No, we Jason, gave up sports. The Browns we were in the playoffs. Yeah. The Buckeyes were in the national championship game. Yeah. And you watched neither. Uh, not a second of either. <laughs> not only that, but I got to with the game. The hot game was Monday night. Yeah. I was like Wednesday morning. I was like, uh, yeah, they. The they, Wednesday after. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, they were. Oh, I wonder if they won. That's. You know, like previously, my entire yeah. weekend leading up to yeah. Monday night would be about Ohio State playing right. in the national championship. Right. Man. Well, I had planned prior to it, because I got to wake up pretty early, go to work. I had planned prior to watching the game that I was only going to watch till halftime, mm -hmm. no matter what. No matter what. L winning, losing, whatever. Yeah. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Went to bed at halftime. Glad yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, they lost. But I'm still, you know, representing. Yeah, you know. It's fine. Whatever. I'm from Ohio. Okay. What do you got, Jason? Do you have anything exciting to talk about? No. Nothing. No, not really. Um, 24 wild rabbits were got released it. in Australia. Got it. 150 years ago. They're not native to the population. Sure. 24 wild rabbits. How many years ago? 150. Got it. How many wild rabbits are in Australia today? Uh, a hundred million. Ten billion. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say a billion. I was like, ah, that's a little crazy. Ten a billion. I was like, a billion's a lot. A so. billion's a thousand million. Yeah. Listen, I know. This is a thousand. This is well, ten thousand million. If there million. was one thing that rabbits were known for, it's reproducing. Yeah. They're good at it. So they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. Not native. No. To, um, Causing problems, probably. I'm sure that it's they It's too are. late now, though. You Although, can't, what you happens can't kill is, ten billion rabbits. You could try. Well, not by the time they've made 10 billion more. You know what I mean? By the time you work your way through. But what's happening is now predators are increasing mm -hmm. because they've got prey right. that they can chew up. Well, that's good. It is good. Mm -hmm. That's what circle, Australia is It's a circle for. of life. More dingoes. More dingoes. I just watched Quigley Down Under. Well, really? I didn't really watch it, but Levi was like on Netflix and he was like, what's a Western? Oh. And, and I was like, yeah. you know, Quigley Down Under. And we like, we're big fans of uh, Blue Bloods. Yeah. And I was like, that's uh, Tom Selleck, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? So, um, yeah, that's you know, all right. That's a good one to watch with him is um, Maverick. Did oh, we sure. talk about that last week? Yeah, we talked about last week. I, yeah. could, I don't know. What, what is that Hulu. on? It's on Hulu. Oh. Oh, I have Hulu. Y yeah. Yeah. Um, I watched it with Harrison a week ago. Okay. It's it's good. It's Quickly clean. Quickly Down Under yeah. is... Mm. Yeah. The female character is super annoying. Levi, afterwards, he was like, if it wasn't for her, I'd have liked it, but she was awful. So <laughs> she is a bit much. I, um, I would guess that if you read the reviews to that, it would yeah. be like she just 
murdered the movie. But, you know, he so, shoots things from a far distance away, and that's fun to watch. So here's the other thing about Australia. And this is, I didn't know this. Australia mm. is reproducing camels so quickly because mm-hmm. camels are not native to Australia either. Okay, so they're wild camels in Australia? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's wild. a problem. Okay. And they're, they're selling camels to Saudi Arabia. Really? Which is like wild. It's like it's selling like, ice to Eskimos. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. Isn't that wild? What is... Australia uh, is, is unique. Yeah, it's isolated. Uh, so it's got some things that are different than everybody else. Right. Really quickly, this shouldn't take long. The Mount Rushmore of Australian animals. Yeah, platypus. Kangaroo. Kangaroo, platypus, koala Koala bear. bear. Dingo. Dingo. That's it. Tasmanian tiger. Well, that's Tasmania. That's Which is different. part of Australia. Yeah, but it's an island off of... I know. The country, so. Dingo, I mean, kangaroo, koala. What was the other one? Platypus. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Now, here's a thought. So, I wanted to say this. Mm-hmm. I think that we ought to be doing more taking one animal and placing it somewhere else. I think this oh, ought to happen. I think that's a horrible idea. More often. That's, I mean, so, bad things happen when you do that. For sort of instance. Stuff. They mess up the ecosystem. How? There's like rivers in no, all over the world. That's that fake. That's fake news. That's it not is? real. Yeah, it's not real. I saw they it just, on like the Discovery Channel. So yeah, fake news. Okay, so here's the thing. Everybody's all up in arms mm-hmm. that the polar bears are dying. Yes. Right. Just put them down south. Put them down south. They'll love it down there. They will love it. So many penguins to Unlimited eat. Unlimited supply of penguins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How Free come? Buffet. Some, now I'm okay with that. That's yes. cool. Yeah. There's not much of an ecosystem to mess up down there. No. There's not going to be so many that you're going to kill all those penguins. I think we ought to take some penguins up north. I mean, a a, a polar bear walks into that penguin group where they're oh. all sitting on eggs. Yeah. That's food for days. <laughs> right? Yes. You just, you're just grabbing eggs and packing them away for later. Yeah. Hmm. I just, I think this is, I think this needs to happen. Yeah. I think we need to take polar bears from the North Pole to okay. the South Pole. All right. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. And I think we need to take penguins from mm-hmm. the South Pole to the North Pole. Put them in the North Pole. Yeah. I mean, around the edge. I mean, obviously the North Pole's ice cap. Obviously. Not anymore because mm-hmm. of global warming. Thank you. Yeah. Al Gore. But, uh, Al Gore. But, um, you know, Alaska, Canada, Russia, mm. you know, uh, the upper rim, mm. the Arctic Circle. I think penguins would be, they, they would love it. You think so? Like, you don't, you mean I don't have to stand on this ice, like in this blizzard for my whole life? They might love it. They might. I just think they would. Well, look at I'm the penguins okay. at the zoo. The, the penguins at the zoo are happy. Very happy. Very happy. I, you know, you can't tell if they're smiling because they have a beak, but they seem happy. Yeah. I think you they're know, always kind of smiling. They seem to waddle. Yeah. You know? I mean, if, if, yeah, this is happy. I'm okay with those things, but there are other ones that kind of like, I don't know, aren't so Well, good. like, I don't want to put like tigers in like Illinois. Right. I mean, that would, that would turn out very poorly. Grizzly bears in New York City. Yeah, that would be well, bad. That I don't would know. be bad. Well, it'd be fun. I mean, for, you know, for TV purposes, yeah. For the grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of food there. I don't know where else, because everything else is just kind of connected. Mm-hmm. You, you get the biggest disparity. Disparent- disparency? Is sure. that a word? Mm-hmm. Between Alaska, or um, um, Australia and the rest mm-hmm. of the world. You know, there are no predators on New Zealand. Mm. So we need to add predators? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's well, one of the reasons people like to hike there. It's very safe. Yeah. You know, we don't have monkeys in America. Like South America? Yeah, not North America. Oh. Isn't it too cold? I, I don't, don't think know. so. You think monkeys could survive in, well, Florida, like the they swamp, could probably yeah. make it okay in Florida. I think a bunch of chimpanzees just I release them I think that's a bad idea. I think swamp. we should talk to somebody who knows more about this than we do. And I, I think that would be pretty great. Okay. Well, if you say so. So I was uh, I was thinking about, uh, well, we, we did our 2020 recap episode already. Yeah. Um, and so we talked. We did not go well. It didn't. It no. was super depressing. Um, but I was thinking about uh, the whole coronavirus situation yeah that thanks we're, for bringing that up yeah that we're living and i got i was thinking people with bad teeth got to be loving this you know like if you have really bad teeth and you're ashamed of them it's a wonderful time for you because everywhere's wearing a mask all the time you know oh, and so, so you're probably very much more confident you know uh that you can smile and no one sees your horribly jagged you know 
uh, snarl tooth face. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's probably a good time. So I was thinking there's, it's probably been good for a couple other people too. Can you think of anybody else other than bad teeth to people? I mean, Jeff Bezos, it's been great for him. Does he have bad teeth? No, I'm just saying. Like, everybody bought everything on Amazon. Oh, yeah. For, like, everything. I mean, UPS and FedEx. He had to have killed, like, yeah, just done pretty well for himself. Yeah, doing pretty good for himself. For himself, not for Parler, though. They're coming back, right? They'll yeah. come back. I know well, we don't want to talk. I know, we're not, I know we're not I don't want to get into it. But, I get angry. But I like, yeah, I know you do. They're, yeah. I don't get as angry as Dan Bongino. Mm-hmm. He gets pretty angry. Well, it's somebody like, needs to get angry. Yeah. I mean, I'm not getting angry. That's exhausting. Yeah. I'm just going to be happy and just pretend yeah. as I drink my tea that I'm in England. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't want to talk politics. Cause all right, well, I'll then just, let's just do the Netflix just, suggestion. It's not, first of all, it's not because I'm afraid to be banned off of whatever. Oh, okay. I don't care. You're just afraid to hurt people's feelings. No, I don't. I hurt people's feelings all the time. You're, you just don't know what you think. You're just I confused. Won't, no, I know exactly what I think. Okay. Well, I, that's the list. I don't know why you I would. want to escape. I don't want mm, to be it. Yes. I'm trying to get away myself. <laughs> <laughs> I have nowhere to go. How's that working for you? Not good. <laughs> Just tell me, <laughs> tell me, where can I go? Where can I go Here, to escape? This is it. This, this is, is the it. last vestige. There, is no, there mm-hmm. is no other place to go. <laughs> this I, is it. I suppose audiobooks from 100 years ago. Which, which I'm doing. doing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, I, I read uh, the other day that... Uh, uh, like, I'm 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Uh-huh. I'm doing all the classics. Yes. Doing them all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I read the other day that... Uh, I, I, it was that the CDC is officially suggesting that you now wear two masks. Like, it's better... <laughs> Nuh uh. <laughs> Nuh uh. It's better to wear two. And then I Are saw, you? Yeah, no, they, you should probably wear two. I mean, it'd be better. No. So, so I had someone. <laughs> thank you for bringing this up. I just. I met when with. When does it stop? You know what I mean? I, it, it, uh, <laughs> two get masks. so angry. So Listen, I posted a picture on Facebook. It's a group of guys. This past Saturday, mm-hmm. a group of guys, we got coffee. Mm-hmm. I posted it. I said, good, good times with some good friends, something like that. Yeah. Someone today, this morning, I woke up and I checked my phone, and mm-hmm. they had commented, tell me this was pre-COVID, right? <laughs> like, what, how am I supposed to respond? You, can't, you don't. You don't, you don't respond. What I want to respond oh, well. is, what's COVID? <laughs> yeah. No, COVID. I mean, that's, I, I yeah. almost did that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought, no, I don't want to do that. Is it, who, who, is it somebody I know that said no. that? No. Oh, okay. I'll tell you after a show. Tell me this is pre-COVID, right? Yeah. I mean, There's no stop. response to that. No. You just didn't respond, right? I have not yeah, responded. Yeah, you just let it. Whatever. Whatever. You well, know what it was? Pre- what? It was a group of adults that did whatever the heck they wanted to do. Right. That were not there by compulsion. Right. Right? We're all adults. Yeah. We all know what's going on. I'm going to roll the dice. Yeah. You, you know, know what? That's, that's okay. I Pop. And I understand that I could hurt other people, too. Yeah. You know, this is the world. Where, every time I drive my car out on the road, yes. I understand that there's an... Uh, I almost hit a guy on a bike this morning. On purpose. <laughs> no, I didn't hit him on purpose. Oh. <laughs> I was driving to work. My, <laughs> Dang it. I almost hit him. My, I uh, almost got him. My windshield was... Mm-hmm. I mean, you've seen how I drive when there's frost or snow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I let the car do all the work. It's not safe. I'm not scraping. No. I'm just... And, you might, and you're not really waiting either. No. I just go. <laughs> if If one... Set of the wipers don't take it off. Uh-huh. I'll just let the Listen, car warm up. It'll be fine. Eventually, I'll the heat will out. knock it out. Yeah. So I'm driving to work. Yeah. All I need is one little sliver. Yeah. I get it. And I can see the middle of the road mm-hmm. and the side of the road. I'm and, good. And you almost hit a guy on a bike, too. Yeah. So uh-huh. uh, this morning, it was pretty frosty. I mean, should... let me just say, yeah. you doing that uh-huh. is more dangerous than if you were like the Typhoid Mary yeah. original carrier of COVID. Like, you were the yeah. one that got bit by I the bat. killed a guy today. You know? Yeah. And um, that's way more dangerous. Yeah. So I'm driving down the road early, and it was 6 o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden, I get right on top of a guy. This is down by 23, like um, 309 and 23. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're not familiar with Marion, no those are lane. two roads in Marion that intersect. It's Continue. There's no bike lane there. <laughs> that's a road. It's a road. Getting it's, ready to get on a highway. Who's riding a bike on that road? Well, that guy. That guy. At least for a little bit. Was he wearing a mask? I don't know. I was, you couldn't see. I was going by so fast. <laughs> and at the last minute, I mean, I was on top of him before I realized there's a guy on the bike. There's no lights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You couldn't even see them. There's no reflectors. Mm-hmm. You know, high, wear a high vis vest or something or a light, anything. Or get a car, man. You well, know? I mean, not everybody. Some people are not allowed to drive. Little drinky, drinky. <laughs> <laughs> That's so it's stupid. A thing. I know. I know. Well, first of all, they shouldn't have been drinking and driving. Yeah. Second of all, mm-hmm. don't drink and drive. Third of all, yeah. Netflix suggestion of the week. Let's do it. Netflix, Netflix, watch these shows with the ones. Netflix, Netflix, or maybe Hulu Plus. Netflix, Netflix, or watch these shows with us. Netflix, Netflix, or maybe Hulu Plus. Or maybe Amazon Prime or something like that, like YouTuber. We don't want to put a box around what you watch, so you never know. Jason, what is your Netflix suggestion of the week? I got two words for you. All right. Paul Newman. Oh, man. I'm a big Paul Newman fan. He makes a heck of a dressing, mm. you know. Yeah. Uh, he... He, uh, he he's my best. He's my best. <laughs> he's my. He makes a really good dressing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I think he's into cars, but that could be he, Steve I think McQueen. He's dead now. Yeah, Steve, and they're both dead. Steve McQueen's dead mm-hmm. too. Steve McQueen died a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Paul Newman recently. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, last twenty years compared to Steve McQueen. I think about time now, and recently is different than what recently was. A while back. Are you Are you okay? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Recently, when I say Paul Newman died recently. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like what you're saying. It could have been that 20. That has a different definition. It has a different when definition. When you're five, recently is within the last five minutes. That's right. Now, recently is like within 20 the last, years. Yeah. Okay. Like, since I've been married, mm-hmm. I remember uh, most recently. of it. Yeah, it was recently. Yeah. You know, I mean, 20 years. The Berlin Wall fell recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, within my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> it's been recent. I mean, in the span of all of history, yeah. five billion years. Your lifetime is very recent. Yeah. It's a small sliver of all if of If you could experience. even see it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's a bl- mm-hmm. less than a blink of an eye. Yep. To ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Okay. We're all dead. <laughs> what, what does Paul Newman have to do with Cool your, Hand Luke. It is my, I, it's not my favorite movie of all time, but it's top ten easy, probably top five. Yeah, Cool Hand Luke is fantastic. Um, fantastic. Uh, Paul Newman at his best. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Some man you just can't reach. Yeah. It's... An excellent movie. Shaking it over here, boss. Yeah. Shaking it over Shaking here. Shaking the bush, boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Paul Newman is great in that movie. He's he's his his uh, whole I don't give a crap attitude. Yeah. Uh, he's cool. He's cool. He is cool in that yeah. movie. He's the definition. He eats of cool. fifty eggs. Yeah. Hard boiled eggs. <laughs> that seems impossible. <laughs> I. It's been done. I looked it up because yeah. we had that. I watched the movie with my son maybe about a year ago. Okay. He's not a fan. He's like, Dad, I don't know why you like the movie. It was so boring. It's like, well, you. Are immature and you get, need to go to your up. bed. Yeah, get out of here. Um, <laughs> You're it's, stupid. It's a it's a great movie. It is a great. It's movie. heavy. I it mean, it, it, you know, um, what's your dirt doing in my ditch? Yeah. You know, get your dirt out of my get your dirt yeah. out of my ditch, and then makes him go back and forth. It yeah. is. I mean, it's just so good. It's an excellent movie. Yeah, it really is. If you have not seen Cool Hand Luke, now it's a movie made in what sixty? Let's. I was I would just going to look that 64, up. 67. 67. Yeah. So it's. Pacing is different, you know. It don't expect but you know what though. It's Avengers better. Endgame. It's better. It is better. It is better. It is better. I so, agree. Like the Avengers Endgame stuff, like that. It's all green screen mm-hmm. and it's a hundred percent action. Yeah, the storyline is minimal. It never stops. Yeah, yeah, and it's whatever for what it is. It's a popcorn movie that's got its right. place. But Cool Hand Luke is a is much. I will say it's much harder to pull off Cool Hand Luke than it is to pull off. Avengers. I agree. I agree. I mean, that scene when he goes out to the car to talk to his mom and she's smoking. Oh, yeah. That is, is like a perfect scene yeah. acting wise. Yeah. And it's got enough pauses and it's just excellent. It's an excellent movie. And if you don't like it, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Excellent movie. Cool Hand Luke. It's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. 
Um, it's, I'd say, I don't know. If you've got a teenager, it would be okay for them to watch it. I don't know if yeah. I'd watch it with little kids. Yeah. Yeah. It's got, yeah. It's, I don't know how old we were when we watched it. Honestly, if you're six, seven, eight, ten years old, you're not going to want to watch it. Ten no. minutes into it, you're playing yeah, video this games. This is the slowest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not even 10 minutes into it. All right. Uh, my Netflix suggestion of the week is a movie that I have not seen, but uh, a regular listener to the show, mm. uh, my father-in-law, yeah. called me and said, uh, or I called him. Anyway, he told me that uh, he loved Fat Man. Yeah. Now, this is a movie with Mel Gibson. Have you seen the preview? Yeah. So the preview, when you're watching the trailer, it's like, oh, he's some sort of ex- you know, Green Beret, special ops, whatever, and the government's trying to get back him back into whatever, but you realize he's actually Santa Claus mm -hmm. and he but he's it's also violent. Yeah. Um and so it's like uh it's it's like a heavy I don't know. I, I think it's comical. I think it's funny, yeah. But it's also it's a like, dark comedy. It's like a dark comedy. I, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the way you'd put it. Um I've not seen it, so I can't say whether I like it or not. He gives it a thumbs gives up. Gives it a thumbs up. But yeah. you know, and he's a big Mel Gibson fan. Yeah. As am I. Yeah. I love Mel Gibson. I think he's great. I think almost everything he's done I've, I've not seen anything of him that I didn't like. He's great in Daddy's Home too. I mean, just fabulous. And da Daddy's Home too, the most <laughs> underrated Christmas movie of all time. I'm just gonna say that. Is one Daddy's day, Home one a Christmas never movie? Never seen it. <laughs> Daddy's Home two. So you went straight for the Daddy's. It was a home Christmas two. movie. We were looking a few years ago for. But you a Christmas didn't stop. Movie. You didn't bother to watch. Daddy's one. Home one is not a Christmas movie. So how I, do you know you've never seen it? I I I looked at it. I, it's not a Christmas movie. I'm t I'm telling you. But uh, this one is, and we watched it, and we love it. And okay. it's really good. And Mel Gibson is uh, plays Mark uh, Wahlberg's dad, and uh, John Lithgow plays uh, Will Ferrell's dad. Yeah, and it's fabulous. Okay. It's such a good movie. And um, Mel Gibson's fabulous in it. He did uh, Apocalypto. That's his movie. Yeah, great. Yeah, obviously he did Passion of the Christ. He did Braveheart. I mean, I love him in he Signs. Makes great movies. I love yeah, him in Signs. He's amazing in Signs. Yeah, so good in Signs. So good. That scene when they're running around, yes, uh, the house, and he's yeah. like cursing and stuff. Yeah. Oh, so funny. It's fantastic. And when he's like holding on to his his oh. uh, his uh, oh, daughter, yeah. trying to get her to breathe and stuff. Yeah, like son. it is like yeah. it's his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Macaulay Culkin's brother. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I'm just like and and yeah, he swing away, Meryl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, it's every, so good. I, I know. That is like a perfect movie. Signs. If you've never seen Signs, then come go on. If you've never seen everything signs, you're doing, like, and stop go watching watch this. It. Yeah. And go watch it. Come back to this. <laughs> but um, watch Signs. It's so yeah. good. Signs is fantastic. Underrated. It's very, very, very it's, underrated. It's my favorite. My favorite in a Shyamalan movie. Yeah. yeah and Joaquin Phoenix is fabulous in it, too. Oh, yeah. Yes, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Big fan. So, anyway, Fat Man, if okay. you like it, let us know. If you hated it, let us know. I don't yeah. know. I mean, we're like a month away from Christmas. Do you feel like you should wait until next Christmas I, to watch I'm it? I'm debating about waiting. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. Watch How Christmassy Christmas is it? Well, it's about Santa Claus, so. I know, but know. if he's not actively playing Santa Claus, he, like, mm -hmm. they're he, trying I mean, to get him. Santa Claus. Yeah, the, why are they trying to get him? To get go back to being Santa Claus? That's what I'm saying. But if he got away from Santa Claus, oh, so I like Christmas is over. Like if this takes place in February. I don't understand. I don't know the plot of the movie. I, I just don't know, know he's 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 Santa it's Claus. Mel Gibson and it's Santa Claus. Does it get any and it's better? It's violent. And it's violent. Dark comedy. Well, Levi yeah. watched The Patriot for the second time the other day. Ooh. So Yeah. All right. So my Netflix suggestion is uh I don't know how you watch Fat Man, just I'm sure Google watch Fat Man and something will come up. Um, and then I've been all month long suggesting a book every week. Mm -hmm. And uh, the book that I'm suggesting is called The Splendid and the Vile. The guy's name Eric Larson is the author. You might want to uh, listen to this one. It's uh, The byline is A Saga of Churchill, Family, and Defiance During the Blitz. So it's a book that is about the, what is it, like six months uh, where the Luftwaffe was bombing London mm -hmm. uh, during World War II. Basically, every single night, uh, they were dropping bombs on London, all over England. Hundreds, uh, thousands of people uh, affected and died and injured. And uh, it, it brings me, like, as I was reading it, I I'm just thinking, man, these people, every single night, you know, um, th they don't know if they're going to wake up in the morning. Yeah. For all I know, the bomb's going to hit them in the middle of the night, and they're going to wake up dead. You know, yeah. like, that's yeah. it. 
you yeah. know, and that's the reality every single night. And you can't just stay awake every night. Eventually, you're going to have to right. go back to work, go back to, you know, this is what you're just going to have to live life. Right. And, and so, and the Germans, even when they weren't planning on doing a lot of bombing, they knew that if they flew a couple planes over Psychological London, warfare. the sirens would yeah. go off and um, they would have to, you know, retreat. They would fly by all the time because they, they were different protocols where they the factory workers would stop working yeah when the sirens would go off and so they wanted to stop the factory work and this like you said psychological non-stop just tense over your head all the time and then it follows mostly closely to to churchill and his kind of like group and all of the meetings that they had and that sort right. of stuff really well written it's kind of a longer book but um i thought it was entertaining and for me it just put life into perspective yeah. as frustrating as life is now oh and it is yeah it's nothing it n nothing compared to that yeah. and uh and they made it through I, I i suppose you know one of the differences is that it's not like England was completely united, but there was a common enemy. There was a common goal. Like, no, nobody in England, really, you might have had a very small faction of people were saying, yeah, Hitler's great, you know? Yeah. But for the most part, it was like, we got to get rid of this right. evil, right? Right. And so the splendid and the vile, that's, and, and it kind of goes back and forth. And sometimes they'll be like in Hitler's group and Goring and Goebbels and all this sort of stuff. Uh, but mostly it's, it's about Churchill and, uh, you know, just the way that, that he kind of saw the country through this, this is difficult fictional? times. No, no, it's it's uh, factual. It's yeah, it's not fictional. It's um, yeah. The guy that writes it, his name is Eric Larson. He did a ton of research, okay, um, into the letters. And so anyway, if you're into that sort of thing, yeah. it's a really well written book. And he's written some other books, um, a couple other World War II books, and uh, he's a really good author. So Eric Larson, hmm. the Splendid and the Vile. That's my suggestion. Okay. Um, so I was online today. We're both into uh, uh, vinyl records. Yes. And, uh, you know, me I, more recently. One day that. I hope to have a wall full of them. Yeah. That's just to collect. I don't collect a lot of things. Yeah. I don't collect. I don't, I don't really collect anything, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I like coffee mugs. So we, you know, we do have a lot of coffee mugs. Um, but I really don't do much in collecting. I like books, but I don't like books for the sake of collecting them. I like to have books that I, I have read, and then I can yeah. suggest other people. But uh, I do want to collect records. And uh, so because the Internet knows everything about you, yeah. um, I, uh, there was an ad that popped up today for this vinyl subscription. And uh, you pay not a small amount of money. And uh, you tell them kind of like what you're interested in, and then every month they like send you record a, of the month club. Yeah, they send you a package that has five records that you don't know what they're gonna be. Okay, you know. Yeah. And uh, they they have this advertisement where they have somebody like opening up. And they open up the box and they're like, yeah. oh, you know, and they're so excited, yeah. you know. And I'm just kind of like, it. I, it looks like you knew you wanted that record. You know what yeah, I mean? Just you're, go buy it. You're buying it anyway. Yeah. Why get possibly four other records that you don't really care about? Just well, buy the maybe one. Maybe you don't know that you like them. I guess, but that's, I mean, 50 years ago, when the only way to listen to things was records, that makes sense. Today, I can listen to stuff on my iPhone, decide, oh, do I like this? Do I not like this? Right. Do but, I want this record? So here's the thing. But so, I don't need to try out a record. Like Mumford & Sons. I love Mumford. Come on. What if they sent me a new up-and-coming Mumford from England? That I've never heard of. I've never seen. I, I don't know anything about There are people. other ways to do that that's much more efficient than getting a whole record. I mean, you can do that on Spotify. You can do that a hundred different I'm ways. I'm not doing it. Well, I'm just saying, if you were interested in that, which if you were interested in I'm that. I'm really not. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't like can, new things. This is what I'm saying. I, I think the, the advertisement is good because part when I was watching it, I was a little bit like, oh, that kind of seems like fun. But then, you know, when the person, it was like, oh, this Ed Sheeran record. How much I, is I really it? wanted this. I don't remember. See, that's the But I remember looking at it and thinking, that's not, not cheap. It. Yeah. It's, I could just buy the records that like I want. 50 bucks a month? I don't remember how much it okay. was. Something like that, let's yeah. say. I don't know. It was it was not cheap. Well, that now, if, if you're getting a lot of records, yeah. and it's like you're paying $10 a month, and you get like five or Do six records. Do you remember records, Columbia House? Yeah, yeah, that was a big deal. That was a big deal. We had, I had a CD, you know, it was 18. I got the CD portion of it. Yeah. You pick out like five or seven. No, no, wait. I think you got like 12 up front mm -hmm. for like $5 or something. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't a lot. Yeah. 
and then but then you had to buy one every month yes for like full two price. years at mm-hmm. full price yeah. and shipping yes and a full price cd was like 24 bucks yeah it plus was shipping a, it was qu- it was quite a racket they had going when you first get the 12 it feels great it feels great sure yeah by the time you pay it off it's like i should have just bought what i wanted there's not the more than 12 albums i listen to anyways <laughs> well, yeah. well see now it's different too because we have a spotify Mm-hmm. If I want to listen to anything else, yeah. it's right there. And that's my thing. I mean, a record, when I listen to a record, it's like I'm on purpose listening to this because yeah. I want to listen to it Dude, and I don't want to be distracted. I've got a Star Trek record you need to listen to. I've got the Wrath of... No, I have the Search for Spock. Okay. What do you have? Well, this is like a um, behind-the-scenes talk with Gene Roddenberry and the actors, and oh. it's pretty interesting. I've got a Western. Uh, it was a Jimmy Stewart uh, movie soundtrack yeah. and the b-side is him like reading something mm. oh jimmy stewart yeah. reading this thing about this uh you know western and out there and it's like so soothing yeah. i love it it's yeah. so much okay. I, it's so much it's so much it's so much it's so much so uh if you find this vinyl subscription thing i would just pass on it i, I don't give it my thumbs up as it were it just was like what are you doing i don't know what you're doing it's it's it, it was a good advertisement because it made me think but then i was like this is dumb would you rather yes wake up in the middle of an unknown desert I've or, been through a desert on a horse with no name or mm-hmm. wake up in a rowboat on an unknown body of water oh wow so wake up in a desert you're lost in both scenarios in both scenarios i'm waking up with no sense of where i am correct and when i'm on a rowboat yeah and and all I can see is water? Yes. Okay. So when you say an and unknown body of water, that could be a lake. So oh, yeah. you're okay. saying... You're I, either surrounded by water I'm in the middle or of, surrounded by sand. I mean, okay. Is it salt water? You have to taste it and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have anything with me? Two items. So two water bottles is what I want. Okay. Um... So, I'll probably take the desert because I feel like I have a better chance of picking a spot and staying straight versus the boat. There's a good chance I'm just going in circles. Yeah. You know? See, I'm thinking boat because there's going to be a point where you're going to be tired. Mm -hmm. If you're walking in the desert, what, a day or two, you're dead. Yeah. If you walk in the wrong direction, you're dead meat. Mm-hmm. In a boat, you could just lay there. Yeah. Eventually, it will take you somewhere. Maybe not. I mean, it could just swirl you around in the tides. I mean, there have been boats probably have been floating out in the ocean for 20 years. <laughs> I don't know that to be true. And you, you can navigate by the stars at night. I'm not going to do that. I don't know. I I don't know. The North Star, it never moves. I'm kind of right racist there. with stars. They all look the same to me, you know? <laughs> so Gideon, last night, we were coming home late, and he goes... You know, every star is a planet. I said, no. Uh, every star is a star. Yeah. He's like, no, they're planets. Uh, Those are all planets up there. I said, they're not planets. Well, some I of said, them are planets. Like, you can see, sometimes Jupiter looks like a star. Listen, of all the stars in the sky, yes. one or two might be a planet. Uh, right, okay. In a large degree. But he's under the impression that they're all planets. They're all planets. And you're trying to explain to him, no, they're stars. Yeah. At which point. I suns. Yeah. I said, they're suns. I said, mm-hmm. our sun is a star. Mm-hmm. It was so difficult trying to explain this to and him. And he didn't believe you. No. I said, now, some of these stars might have planets. Around them. Around sure. them. Associated but with But not them. all of them. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they do. But those are not. What you're seeing is not the planet. What you're seeing is a star. Mm-hmm. At which point there might be a planet around that star. Hmm. Frustrating. What science tells us. I don't know. I know. That's the thing. You know, I don't know. So I, I'm science. picking boat. Boat? Yeah. Boat in the middle of the water. Yeah, I I, 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 I don't like that. I feel like I'm going to do a lot of... Uh, I feel like on in the desert, I can pick a spot in the distance yeah. and walk straight toward it, and I have a better chance of not circling. Well, circling is death. Yes. Either, in, in either sense. And not that you couldn't circle... In the desert, yeah. Um, but in a desert, and oh, I think you'd be more likely to circle if you were like in the middle of the woods, yeah, like a thick wooded area. So if you had to pick a direction in the desert to start walking, let's say you wake up first thing in the morning, okay. What direction are you? Like north, really? Yeah, I think I'd go east. Why? The sun sets in the west. 
Okay. So the sun's going to be at your back during the hottest part of the day while you're walking. Oh, sure. In the opposite direction. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, if you don't know which way you're going anyway, and you just got to pick you a direction. You just got to pick one. You don't want to pick west because you're walking into the sun mm-hmm. all, you know, afternoon, For a good evening. portion of the day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you want the sun at your back. Got it. Huh. I said north because... I don't know. It just seems like it would get cooler the further north you went. You get further away from the equator. But I in guess the desert. I guess if it's a southern hemisphere thing, yeah, you know, maybe I'm walking worse. right towards the equator. Yeah, I don't know how many deserts are in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. I don't think many. I mean, the desert. You, we think like Sahara. We think Australia is a little yeah. Uh, Australia a bit of a desert situation. Southwest America a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. Death Valley, pretty bad, pretty yeah. hot. Death Valley is not a great place to be. So you're taking the boat. I'm taking the boat. All right, I'll take um, the desert. I, I mean, I don't like either. What? Do you, do you have something else? Well, I got something. I mean, I got... Okay, what do you got? So I I feel like you feel like you're pretty good at this. Uh-huh. Yeah. I know I'm good at this. Okay. What I'm about ready to say. Yeah. I know that I'm good at this. I feel like I'm better. I know. And I know... You, I know... And I'm not sure what we're talking about. I, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you I'm pretty think, sure... I'm pretty sure whatever it is, uh-huh. if you think I'm okay at it, <laughs> no, I know no, no, that I'm better. No, I think that like you playing, think you're good at it. Like playing guitar, I can't play guitar. Right. You win. Mm-hmm. If it's a good guitar contest, mm-hmm. you win. Thank you. This is so gregarious. Singing contest, you. Yeah. you win. I think that you think you're good at this. I'm not saying... Tetris? That I... Listen. I'm better at te- Tetris. You'll, you'll kill me in Tetris. Yeah. I lose interest yeah. very quickly. I like playing real life Tetris. Like packing a U-Haul truck. Yeah. So if you're fun. helping... So I just helped somebody move. Yeah. Just last weekend. Listen, I don't want to move because I hate moving. Yeah. But I'll help someone else move, and I will help load the truck. That's the job you like? The yeah. loading of the truck Yeah, because I don't want to carry stuff. Yeah. I will load the truck. You bring stuff to me, I'll throw it up there. I don't like that responsibility. I just want to go get stuff and bring it to you. Yeah. No, I hate that. I'll load the truck. And the social contract is, Jason, it's unspoken. Yeah. It's not written anywhere. But if I'm moving and I invite some people to come or ask buy some them people, you buy them pizza yeah. in particular. Yeah. That's the right. That's the and unspoken. They didn't, these no, no, no. They did. Oh, okay. they, uh, Pierce's pizza too. Ooh. My my favorite yeah. kind of pizza. So, um, I mean, they understood the social okay, yeah, I mean, deal, yeah. you know. I mean, I th- you buy them food. Yeah. I just. Pizza. Pizza's quick and easy. If you. Typically, you'll have donuts for them when you get when they get there yeah, in the morning. Uh, yeah, which they did. And, and coffee. They had, they had Andrew's donuts Man. and Pierce's pizza. These I should, people. I go to help. I moved. wanted to help them move the next weekend. So <laughs> I'll help you move every weekend. Yeah. So um, anyway, this thing that I'm about ready to say. Okay. I know that you think you're really good at this. Yeah. I. You may be okay. At, I know I'm good at this, okay. and I want to help people be better at this. Okay. We're living in a world. Okay. Stop. On a scale of a zero to a hundred, mm-hmm. hundred is like your best. Your best. I'm I'm the Michael Jordan. Of You're this. the Michael okay. Jordan of this. Mm-hmm. Zero means that it's like like me trying to play guitar. Got it. The worst. That's me. So I have to rank myself. Yeah, and then I want you to rank me because I don't even know what you're talking about yet. I would say I'm a ninety. Five. I mean, I'm really. You're better good. than that many people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, so, in this thing in particular, an there's average a lot of people block that of aren't hundred very people. good at this. A yeah. hundred people. Mm-hmm. You're better than ninety five of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And and, we're, and and the thing is, there's a lot of people. I think that they think they're good at this, but they're yeah. not good at it. And I don't even know what this so is. There's yet. a lot of garbage yeah. happening. Okay. So in this realm. Yeah, yeah. Everybody thinks. I think every. I would say this. I would say everybody thinks they're good at this thing. Okay. I, I don't know one person that'd be like I'm not good. I think they they oh I'm really good at that. Okay, so what do you think I am? Um, I mean I give you like a seventy five eighty. Okay, see immediately I'm gonna <laughs> flip this. I think I'm ninety five. I mean you're not you're like in the bottom half for sure. I'm top half. There's some. I'd say you're yeah. You've moved past the the you, oh, yeah, C you're plus. T- you're top half. You're, okay, yeah, you're you're fine. I'm not it. failing. You're not failing. Okay, you're fine at it. But there's some elements of this. Okay, thing. what is this thing? Well, now I'm just wondering if we should wait till next week. I want to know what it is. Talk are you going to tell thing? me or are you going to wait? Just tell. Just say it. Correctly choosing a GIF in a text message. Oh, 99. <laughs> 99. See, I knew you would say that. There, I, I there, GIF way better than you. You GIF a lot, I which gif- is not better. <laughs> That's the other thing. That's one of the things, one of the elements to being good at gifts is not overusing them. Yes. You see? Yeah. 
And you gif a lot. I do gif a lot. Mm -hmm. If I could only communicate in gifs, I would. Well, I've seen you try. Yeah. So there are some things that you need to think about yes. before you're sending in a gif. First of all, there are some classics oh, yeah. that are just great. The kid on the computer yeah. that does this. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, don't worry about overusing that one. Right. That one's appropriate. I like the blinking guy. The blinking guy is great. <laughs> that one's great. There's a Dwight um, shoot where he goes, it's true. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, uh, there's some Donald Trump ones that are really good. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. That one, <laughs> the the dancing one is yeah. good. Um, so yeah, I'm not saying you can't. You you have your standbys. Yes. Michael Jordan, his he's got his fadeaway jumper. If you got a fadeaway jumper and it works, you're going to use it. That's right. Right. I'm not saying don't use your fadeaway. It's your go to. It's your go to. Yeah. But. Here's where people mess up. First of all, they do overuse the gifs. Which yeah. I, 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 okay, my happy birthday gif uh -huh. is a zebra dancing on a lawn, and okay. it says happy birthday. So here's here's the problem, is when choosing a gif, yeah. there's a lot you have to think about. So The audience. Well, the audience is the big one. Yeah. that That's who you're you got, trying to you please. You got to think about them, you not think about you. think about them. Yeah. So I was... Uh, Texting with a, a mutual friend of ours, uh, Katie Sayre. You know Katie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Katie and I, we were, we were texting back and forth, and uh, she said, uh, great, thanks, or something like that. Yeah. And so now, I want to respond. I want to end this text message yeah. with an appropriate gif. What about the guy in the brown, like... Jacket. He's outside. He's got long hair, and mm -hmm. he just looks at the camera. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. The, the subtle nod. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's what I know about Katie. She loves the TV show Psych. Okay, I didn't know this. Yeah. See, this is where you have to care and think about the other person. Well, listen. You know Katie better than I do. <laughs> I know she loves it. So I'm gonna just search would, Psych. Who would Katie rather play euchre with? Nobody wants to play euchre with me. I'm horrible at euchre. <laughs> <laughs> So I send her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, um, uh, you know, a, a shot from that where him, the two main guys are like dancing or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. It's not, it's not going to hit every audience. No, it's not. But for her, yeah. it, I'm sure it made her day. I'm yeah. quite sure that it made her day. The other thing is, did she respond after that? I don't remember. So the, she, it, you probably didn't make her day. She loved it. All right, you okay. could call her right now okay. and ask her. I'm sure I she might. loved it. After the show, I'm we sure might she do appreciated that. it. The other thing is, you, if if you take too long. You yeah. got to be quick. You do have to be quick. What's the length of time where you're like, you know what? It's past. Don't send one anymore. Like if you and I have a conversation and I'm watching the three dots oh, yeah. and I watch them for like 10 minutes while you're scrolling through the right <laughs> kind of like just getting that perfect one. Yeah. That's no good. It's got to be. I mean, you got to find it and send it within 40 seconds. 40 seconds? Yeah. I would okay. say so. I would say under a minute. I mean, I like immediately. Oh, all right. The quicker, the better. The quicker. I mean, if you can have one, boom, right yeah. there. Bam. That's like, how did he do that? Do you know I have a GIF that I created and uploaded that has like 800,000 views? Oh, really? Shares. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't even know one could do that. I thought yeah. they were just created out of the ether. No, I didn't people know. create these. I didn't know that. I, I am a creator of GIFs. <laughs> What do you get for that? You get a payoff for that? Uh, like uh, d they send me like email. Like, <laughs> good job. You, good job. Eight hundred thousand people You're shared it. your gif. Uh -huh. It's Ralph sitting on a bus saying, "I'm special." Oh, well, that's a great one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Simpsons ones. So, well, that so that's the original, and mm -hmm. I changed it. Said I'm essential. Oh. Because it was during the whole essential mm -hmm. worker. <laughs> You're so messed up. I know. That's... Eight hundred thousand people shared it. Mm -hmm. That's that like feels... I'm basically famous. Okay. I mean, I think has Ralph, anything done? I think eight, Ralph from The Simpsons is pretty famous. Have you done anything worth eight hundred thousand people sharing? Uh, not yet. Yeah. So I mean, I'm winning. The fact that I create gifts, listen, means I'm probably uh, better than you at them. Or that's not my only one I've created, by the way. I mean, I know some people that are like super into the NBA and they couldn't play basketball to save their lives. So you know, just because you're like really into it doesn't mean that you're good at it. And I'm not... I am good I'm not saying 800,000 people. Don't you agree with me? 800,000 people. Don't you agree with me, though, that everybody thinks they're good at this? Yeah, everybody does. Everybody thinks There's a lot of people are awful at it. Oh, they're horrible at it. Yeah. And 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 it's got to be... It's got to be... You can't overuse it. No, you can't. It's got to be just right. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, I think it's fun. It's a wonderful time to live. I think it's... <laughs> the, the age of the gift. <laughs> All right, we went a little long. I don't know why we didn't lead off with that. I never know what's going to be interesting. <laughs>
I'm way more interested in the gift than anything else we talked about. I should have started that. I thought I the, apologize. the Australian rabbits were going to be a thing. No. Turns out that was dumb. Uninteresting. <laughs> Not funny. All right. I don't think it has to be funny. This is Dan signing off for Jason, reminding you to always keep your stick on the ice and never wear the blue sweats. Sit, move, sit. Good job. I have spoken.